Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to be discussing a sheet pile project we've been working on here in Cambridge, where we've applied innovative strain sensing technology to various elements of a steel intensive basement. I've titled my talk, Straining Cats and Dogs. Hopefully, it will be clear why. The basement is part of a new student residence being built in Thompson's Lane. The geology is superficials over gaunt clay. The basement is both retaining structure and foundation. We instrumented three double piles at locations around the basement. The piles were pressed using a Geekin silent piler. This modern machine operates by using the previously installed piles to provide reaction. It was clear from the start that we needed a highly robust strain measurement system if it was to survive the pressing process. That system was a narrow channel that would pass through the chuck of the Geekin into which we'd mount our fibre optic cables and protect them with araldite. Now all I needed was a sensible naming convention. <laughs> what can I say? I'm an animal lover. Cat and dog are smart paths instrumented with FBG optical strain gauges. The system could record dynamically during the pressing process and periodically during construction. The double pile arrangement enables bending to be investigated during excavation. Sheep Pile in the UK prepared the channels into which we installed our cables. I had a good team to help. We used a lot of araldite. But we loved our work. <laughs> the install went well, and we're comfortably ready for pressing day. The pressing process is superbly efficient. The contractor pressed a maximum of 18 piles in a short day shift. The geology suited installation by surging, where the piles are repeatedly pressed in and out and takes less than 20 minutes. The Geekin is remarkably silent, as you'll see in this short film. The strain measurement system needs to compensate for temperature change, but this data is interesting in itself. Each of the operators we worked with had their own temperature change signature. 21 degrees heating was the largest change observed. That's a hot dog. Uh, this plot shows force with depth at the end of the pressing. The top FBGs give a good match for the observed RAM loads on the Geekin providing confidence in our system. Geological features and clues about soil structure interaction are also present in the data. There is no direct record of depth with time during the pressing, but our sensors recorded this indirectly as the measured strains increase dramatically once the sensor passes below the chuck. Depth with time is a key element to unlocking the potential of the pressing data. These plots show skin friction with depth, estimated by considering the difference between the bottom two censures. Geological features become extremely clear, and an increase in strength with depth in the clay can be observed. Similar plots for end bearing with depth have also been prepared. Piles in clay obtain their capacity from skin friction and end bearing. The Geekin has to work against these resistances as well as the interlock friction with the adjacent pile. At first it wasn't clear how to estimate the interlock friction from the pressing data I'd gathered. But by considering the strains in the adjacent pile before the Geekin moved, when it was held purely by the weld at the top, I was able to obtain an upper band estimate of the interlock friction. So we now have a good idea of how hard cat is holding on to dog. We're now in a position to estimate the wished-in-place 
pile capacity. This is considerably greater than the pressing force observed of the Geekin observed at any time. The surging process deliberately softens the clay to ensure the Geekin does not stall. At the site, pile tests take place several weeks after installation. Comparisons with the pressing data give a measure of how installation affects capacity in the short to medium term. This is of keen interest to designers and contractors. The sensor technology is perhaps transfer transferable to ground investigation work. To illustrate this, I've used standard pile design equations to back calculate the undrained shear strength and present this alongside geo data from the site. Prospect for development here, I'm sure you'll agree. Cat and dog tell us details of geology, soil strength and their own capacity. Ongoing measurements will reveal retaining wall and foundation performance. The innovative aspects of this work will be of interest to designers, contractors, clients and piling rig manufacturers. Thank you. <laughs>